Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video we're going to be going over some more Final Fantasy Origin related news. I had actually just started my Twitch live stream and this was popping up in my Twitter feed, so I had to check it out. So uh, this actually comes from an interview that Tetsuya Nomura did with Famitsu, and the translation I'm looking at is Audrey, also known as at Itekamochi, who has been a huge contributor to the Final Fantasy uh, community for quite some time now, doing all sorts of translations of Japanese interviews and media to keep us in the loop about the insights about things the developers think or are saying about their games. So that's what I'm doing here. So she translated the Famitsu interview. I know Silicon Era also did one, but I'll include a link to her Twitter feed in the YouTube description as well, because she also has a shop that uh, specializes in shipping, shipping Japanese exclusive goods uh, around to different countries. So check that out. Hashtag not sponsored, but saying it anyway. So uh, just a few details here, but they do cover some questions that uh, I've, you know, I think we've all been wondering. And it really reinforces one of the going fan theories to uh, another level, and I think it's actually going to end up being the thing most people are correct about. So first, Jack, Jed, and Ash's names have meaning. Now, I suspect that the only meaning they really have is that the original Final Fantasy I's name character limit back on the NES was four characters, and those are all four characters or less. Um, as for whether or not they have any sort of direct meaning, I guess with the third comment here, we could assume it's almost like people making their new character names. Because the third one says they're strangers in this land. Now the Silicon Era interview goes a little bit more in depth about this in that uh, the paradise is this world of Final Fantasy, this, this, this Final Fantasy 1-esque backdrop that we have. And they're strangers here. Um, it's, the, the, again, a little bit more into detail with the Silicon Era one, but Basically, it, uh, it really reinforces that they are probably isekai in some way into this world, and they just straight up don't belong there. Now, there will be other party members that can join, but you can only fight with three. Now, that's unclear if they mean that, like, these main three will be together, but, like, other guest members can join and you don't have any influence on them. Think about, uh, like, Final Fantasy XII, maybe, where you have the guest party members, but even, like, less interaction than that. But the, the, other than that, it seems that the AI companions will be a thing going forward into the rest of the game, which means that the feedback from the demo of the AI being absolutely useless, please make sure you fill out that survey and let them know how you really feel about that AI, because if they are going to be joining me for the rest of the game, I'd really like the AI to be a good bit better. One thing we also get confirmation of is that in the full game, you will be able to change all the party members' equipment. So that was something we were wondering, because we couldn't see what jobs they were. We don't know if they can change the jobs, you just change the equipment or anything like that. So, still some question marks about uh, how in-depth the actual equipment for the other party members will be, but it just again reinforces that they will be sticking around for the majority of the game. Now, the game will also explain what exactly is a Warrior of Light, and that is actually in line with some comments Nomura made when the game was officially revealed, where he said that, well, actually, it wasn't even him, it was the director from Koei Tecmo who said that, uh, you know, Jack is a warrior of light, question mark, and that, like, is he really? Because, obviously, they're using the Final Fantasy I world almost as a motif, according to the translation. It is not a continuation. It, it's just being used kind of as a backdrop to the rest of the game's events, and that... Uh, you, there's you, there's a lot more for us to understand, apparently, going forward. I believe uh, Audrey has a translation for that section. Yeah, Final Fantasy Origins is not a continuation of Final Fantasy 1, but a new story taking the motifs of Final Fantasy 1, which we've largely suspected. In the demo, you enter the Chaos Temple, which is similar to the events of Final Fantasy 1. Although Jack and company want to defeat Chaos, they're totally different from the Warrior of Light. So definitely separating them and not saying that Jack is the Final Fantasy 1 Warrior of Light in any regard. Of course, one of the ma other major going theories is that Jack will actually become Garland, and the artwork really seems to suggest that as well. You can see Garland's sort of uh, helmet or Chaos's horn start to form off the one side of his head, and some of the dialogue from the demo definitely implies that as well. One thing I hadn't actually noticed before when looking at this is that if you actually look into the Stranger of Paradise logo, not only is Chaos there, which I think is the most obvious thing, but you do spot some other things in the background, including what looks to be the multiple heads of Tiamat, one of the four fiends. You can also kind of make out the lich's head in the back. The cloths at the bottom are very reminiscent of Merilith. So the four fiends do seem to be making some sort of appearance behind Chaos in that image right there. So again, I am suspecting we will probably be fighting the four fiends again if we're using Final Fantasy 1 as a motif. So I'm really excited to see 
what actually comes of that. But yeah, uh, there's just been a flurry of little bits of information about Final Fantasy Origin and Every time something new pops up, we'll definitely be doing our best to try and cover it here on the channel, even if it means recording something live at 7 a.m. when you've not even had your first cup of coffee yet. So thank you all for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the translations. I'll, again, I'll include links to those in the YouTube description. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more information on Final Fantasy Origin as it becomes revealed at later dates. In fact, I think they said that there's actually a character they're gonna reveal in a later date in the translation somewhere that actually makes mention of it's a character people are going to be very surprised to see but it'll make sense when we actually have the context of the story so wondering who that'll be maybe thinking it's the actual final fantasy one warrior like but we'll see anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one until then take care